It's solving! Yay, solving! Solving is this tiny town in California. It's on Route 101 and it's about an hour from Santa Barbara. And I actually research solving because usually I just wander around and make videos and I have no idea what I'm talking about. But this time I tried to make an effort. So Solving has a population of about 5,000 people. And it was built in 1911 by Danish immigrants from Denmark. So the entire town is themed like Denmark. And it's full of windmills and little bed and breakfasts and breweries and bookstores. And everything is this Danish provincial style. It is so adorable. This is definitely one of the cutest towns in California. And has free parking, unlike some places in California. It's just so whimsical and they have little bars and pubs and hotels and everything is themed. The best part is the bakery and that's why I'm here. And they have like cuckoo clocks. I'm here for the bakery because they have pretzels and I came all the way to Solvang just to get the pretzel so I'm super excited about that so if you're ever in California this is the Santa Inez Valley it's a 500 foot elevation which is pretty high compared to LA which is like there's people on the road everywhere so let me not run them over um, it's up in the mountains which is wine country I will not be drinking any wine because I am allergic to wine and it's like 9 in the morning so that would be weird anyway. I came all the way here for the pretzel, I'm so excited and if you're near Solvang you can go to this place called Ostrich Land. I just stopped there and you can pay and hang out with ostriches. All the hotels and everything have this really cute theme. I'm trying to make a video driving around because I can cover more ground and Solving's actually pretty good. Big, big town, just two square miles, which is rather large compared to other cute, tiny California places. And it just goes on and on. This is Hamlet Square. Alas, poor York, I knew him well. This is the winter of my discontent. Free parking, how about that? What else did I learn about? Yeah, everything's Denmark. I don't know anything about Denmark, except that's where Hamlet is from. And some things say Sweden or Scandinavia, so I don't know if those are like competing companies or what. I need to get a GoPro because I don't want to get in trouble. And everything is all decorated for Christmas, even though it's still January already. And it's just darling. I love Sylvain. So if you want to come to California and check it out, I definitely recommend it. Definitely one of the best towns in California. And you have um, all different bakeries and stuff for breakfast. There's another windmill. I don't know how many windmills there are. There's at least like five. So if you ever wanted to go to Denmark but you can't afford it, there's Solvang. I'm trying to remember which pretzel place to go to because one place they were mean to me, so I don't want to go back there, but another place they were nice. Yay, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna stop doing this now because it's scary. Bye-bye, Solving.